Uh, thank you very much, uh, Judith. Uh, this is a very, very important dialogue we had, and this is for the first time for the Comesa region. We are talking about the problem which our countries are facing on a daily basis. And this is about uh, the contact negotiation and the fiscal framework management uh, in the extractive industries. So we today, as Africans, we are sometimes considering our natural resources like a curse because it is uh, generating conflicts. People are dying. And even where there is no conflict, countries don't get really the return they are expecting for their own development. But if we compare to other countries, like Australia, they have the same natural resources like us. They are processing less their national, natural resources. And they don't face the same challenges like us. And you have the same companies that are operating in Australia who are in Africa. But in uh, uh, Africa, Africans are dying of hunger because there is no enough return in terms of revenue. And in Australia, people are dying of obesity and the other uh, disease linked to the well-being in uh, their diet. Now, where is the problem? The problem is how we negotiate those contracts, how we draft those laws that govern the mining sector. So because of those challenges, we convene this dialogue so that uh, we extract from uh, the brain of the expert in this field on how we should uh, change the game, how we should uh, start negotiating those contracts and even uh, drafting our laws, mining laws, and most importantly, how we could uh, uh, manage them in the right way. So this was about uh, this uh, uh, dialogue. I think uh, the contract has uh, a period of time for its uh, validity. If we look at the uh, mining sector, and these uh, are the sectors that are involving huge investment, this is why the terms, in terms of uh, uh, um, duration, is quite uh, long compared to other contracts. Mostly it's uh, around 30 years, you know, a renewable. Now, in each contract, there is always uh, a clause of uh, uh, amendment of the contract, because when you uh, sign the contract, it is based on some realities. Now, those realities can change. If they change substantially, there is always a possibility to renegotiate the contract. But because uh, the resources involved are a lot, so it uh, may take a lot of time to conclude, you know, uh, the new or the uh, re revise, revise uh, contract. So it is now for our government to skill people. We need to have human resources who can negotiate or renegotiate those contracts. It is not uh, uh, acceptable that for Africans be represented by people who are not associated to our difficulties, our challenges. So it is time for our government to put money to develop the skills of our nationals so that they are able to sit on the same table with those who are willing to come and invest to negotiate with them. Because these foreign investors, they, are, they have money, they have lawyers, and uh, some of them, they have been in the company for more than 20, 30 years. They have experience. Now, they are coming to negotiate with our countries where they don't have any skill. No, no skills. So because there is a lack of skill, we are pushed to import the skills 
sometimes from the same countries where the investors are coming. So it is not acceptable. So this is the time to start investing on uh, human uh, development capacity and come up with uh, the skills in our country. Okay, uh, I don't want to say that uh, the natural resources are cursed. I'm saying that uh, it's what people are believing because we don't really get the proper dividend of our natural resources. And because we have identified where the problem is, it's a question of addressing those, those, uh, those questions. Now, some of the, uh, the, 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 the challenges we are facing is how we manage ourselves. You can find some countries who have a long history in uh, extractive industry, but they still have the same uh, uh, challenges we, like uh, the, new, uh, the newcomers in the sector. The problem is also how we manage ourselves. We didn't talk much about this uh, uh, cancer I call corruption. Because with corruption, even where you can say no, you will be pushed to say yes. Even if you have to sign your own death because, because of money, you will just sign it. So I think it's a time for us Africans to look back where we are coming from, to look at the current situation so that we can change the game for the uh, next uh, agenda. Uh, after this uh, dialogue, what will happen? Okay, um, to be brief, this is just uh, a dialogue, a beginning of uh, a lot of form. I think you heard me talking about uh, uh, going now down a bit, because this is at the regional level. We want now to go to into countries, to meet with many stakeholders, because there is not only people who are coming from uh, uh, mining sector or financial sector. We need other uh, people to come in. We need uh, uh, people who are in, uh, you know, uh, in energy, in transport. We, we have talked about uh, energy because you can't mine without uh, reliable energy. So we need to have every stakeholder on board so that we can address. Uh, in a comprehensive manner, these uh, this issues. So after this uh, um, uh, dialogue, uh, we will be mobilizing resources with our partners, with our member states, to have a national dialogue, which is you know, um, extended to many, many, many people participating. Thank you so much. Thank you.